In this video, we will go over how to code digestive surgeries in the CPT coding manual. So again, let's start by looking at the digestive system coding guidelines. Flip to your tab and let's open. These are the purple pages. It's broken down by the different sections in the surgery digestive system area. There's three pages that list out what the procedures are and the subsections. And you'll notice there's not any specific guidelines like some of the sections in CBT. So you would just refer back to the main surgery coding guidelines that are at the beginning of the surgery section that would apply to all the surgery section, including the digestive system codes. So the digestive system codes will go between 40490 and 49999. So let's go ahead and practice. Just like all the other sections, we look up the procedure in the index in our back, and then we verify in the tabular. So for our last procedure, our first one will be an EGD with a biopsy. If you're not sure what an EGD is, the abbreviation E as in elephant, G as in giraffe, and then D as in dog, EGD, stands for esophagogastroduodenoscopy and with a biopsy. So let's go ahead and look that up. So we're going to go to esophagogastroduodenoscopy, which is under E, again, esophagogastroduodenoscopy. That tells us to see endoscopy gastrointestinal upper. So now let's go to endoscopy gastrointestinal. So endoscopy gastrointestinal upper. And then we said with biopsy, so that would give us code 43239. Just like always, we're going to verify that code by looking it up in the tabular. So if you have your digestive system marked, that'll make it go quicker. Then we're going to go to 43239. Okay, 43239, we can see that it just says with biopsy, single, or multiple. And again, it's an indented code, which means we have to go to the code that it's indented under, which is right here, code 43235, which reads esophagogastroduodenoscopy, flexible, transoral. And so remember, after the semicolon, we replace this text in our code that's not indented with what is indented. So we're going to replace diagnostic, including collection of specimen by brushing or washing when performed with our 43239 with biopsy single or multiple. So code 43239 would read esophagogastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with biopsy single or multiple. So that would be the correct code. Let's do one more together and then I'll have you do one on your own. So with this one, we're doing, we, our patient has a superficial uh, perianal abscess, and so our doctor performs an incision and drainage of that abscess. So our main term, what do you think it's going to be? Let's go to our index. We can go to abscess or we can go to drainage. So let's go ahead and go to drainage. And then once we get to drainage, we're gonna to go to abscess, and it was perianal, so let's look under anal, because if we go down to the P's, perianal is not a choice. We have perineal, perirenal, peritoneal, or peritonsillar, but not perianal. So let's just go to anal. We have three codes to look at, 46045, 46050 and 46060. So again, flip to the tabular. We're going to look at all three of those codes. The first one is 46045. Four, 
So 46045 reads, incision and drainage of intramural, intramuscular, or submucosal abscess transanal under anesthesia. The second one reads, incision and drainage perianal abscess superficial. The third one is incision and drainage of ischiorectal or intramural abscess with fistulectomy or fistulotomy submucosular um, with or without placement or setting. So ours was the perianal abscess superficial. So we would assign code 46050. Okay, now uh, I have one for you to do on your own and then we will go over it. So for the one on your own, our patient had a partial colectomy with anastomosis. Again, partial colectomy with anastomosis. So go ahead and pause the video, look that up, and then we're going to go over the answer. Okay, hopefully you guys paused the video and came up with code 44. 140, which is colectomy partial with anastomosis. And again, to look that up, if you had trouble, in the back of the book, you would just go to colectomy. Colectomy partial, and then go down to with anastomosis, and we get the same code 44140.